In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how we remove the scratches from the iPhone glass. As you can see here on the back of this iPhone, there is quite a bit of wear and tear uh, from this not being in a protective case. Take the iPhones, put them in a mold, and add some adhesive around the edge to help make it watertight while it's going through this process. So the first thing that we have to do is install the uh, the phone into the mold. These are extremely tight molds. Once they're flush, we can get working on the process. You can see here, it doesn't want to come out. So I'm sure you're all aware of who you just saw. That's Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. Stick around to the end to see some behind the scenes footage of his upcoming video. We are going to apply this UV cured adhesive sealant around any area that water could potentially enter into the phone, around the camera, the microphone, and of course, around the frame of the phone. Taking extra precaution to get an even and solid seal around the phone is a, is a must. The last thing that we want to do is miss a spot and have water enter the phone and ruin it. The time to cure the adhesive is 180 seconds or three minutes. And as you can see, it is now solid. Now this here is a glass polish known as cerium oxide. We're gonna be adding approximately 67 grams of powder for every liter of water that we add. I'm using distilled water here, although it's not necessary. We will pour in the cerium oxide powder into the water and mix it thoroughly. The method I use is simply pouring it back and forth multiple times between two pitchers. Now inside the machine you'll see that the pad where the phone will sit is made of basically a shag carpet. And here the nozzle that's going to direct the stream of cerium oxide and water mix, I can point that and aim it in the direction that I want. Here behind the machine is where we'll introduce that liquid into a retaining well, or in this case this plastic container, where I'll insert the pump and the water will filter through and back through the machine and back into the container.
if you like what you're seeing so far, please hit that like button. Once we've run it for a specific amount of time, we can then take it out and verify whether or not all the scratches that we want removed are gone. We'll clean off the, the excess liquid. You can almost hear the difference in glass. You can almost hear it rubbing. It's like a fine sandpaper, like it, it's abrasive. But all of the scratches are gone, so that's a plus. We'll then remove the seal that was preventing the liquid from sliding past the edge of the phone and potentially getting to the internals. It's extremely tough to remove. It has a really good grip because it's wedged its way down in between the mold and the frame of the phone. We've also removed the oleophobic coating on the top of the glass, but we can bring that back into place. As you can see here, when I apply uh, several drops of alcohol, it simply displaces all over the glass. It's not beating up, it's not acting like it should on your typical iPhone glass. And you'll notice here, as I clean it up, that leaves a uh, noticeable streaks. It tends to be holding on to everything instead of letting it simply glide across the glass. So we'll give it a good thorough cleaning and then we'll apply a new layer of oleophobic coating. It only takes a handful of drops, but these do evaporate fairly quickly. So it's important to quickly take a microfiber cloth and cover and go over the entire surface of the glass. The oleophobic coating is also cured using the UV light and it only takes 30 seconds under the light to do so. Once those 30 seconds are up, you can now see that when we apply several drops of alcohol, that we get that desired effect where they're beating up and rolling around as we tilt the phone. We've basically brought it back to its factory state. Removing the phones from the molds has proven tricky because of how tight As you can see, tight they are. Let's try not to break our second suction cup. Just try not to chuck the phone across the room. To 
make that magic sauce that removes scratches from smartphones. And it makes it slightly more safe for a cell phone. Even if the cell phone is watertight, you never really want to test its water resistance. It's dangerous. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if there is some video you'd like to see uh, me do in the future, potentially, with Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. This puck right here helps keep the phone in place while we set it on top of the polishing pad right up against those two wheels just so you can see the phone is still in there and still alive for the moment oh, position the abrasive spitter outer then crank it on stop is done hit this button Okay, so now I can just hit start now. Yeah, yeah. And I can hit, um, and I can hit start. And there you have it. Back glass and the front glass completely restored to the factory finish. Thanks a ton for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.